A Woman Carried Away by Killer Wells. A Haida Story. Illustrated by yours truly. Janine Gibbons. The Woman Carried Away by Killer Wells. Each of us is connected, but it is important for each of us to learn how and act accordingly. The woman carried away by killer whales. One day, a Haida hunter named Nana Simget caught a shimmery silver sea otter. Amazed by its beautiful fur, he was eager to show everyone in his village. Nana Simget was in such a hurry to get back home, he forgot to give thanks to the sea otter for giving its life. Oh, uh... Back at the village, he gave the fur to his wife, Kuljad, to clean. But as soon as she dipped the silver fur into the water, it came to life and swam away. She jumped in and swam after it. Suddenly, a killer whale surfaced right underneath her. She grabbed on to the whale's fin and it dove deep down into the water, taking her with it. Horrified, Nanasimgit grabbed his canoe and went out to look for her, but there was no trace of his beautiful wife. He hurried to the village shaman to find out what to do. Kuljad has been taken to the bottom of the sea to live with the killer whales, the skan, the shaman told him. There may be a way to get her back, but it will be difficult. I will ask Swallow and Martin to go with you. He called for Swallow and Martin to and told them to prepare Nana Simgit for his journey. Swallow and Martin gathered a bag of supplies. Dry fish, devil's club root, brown bear tallow, deer skin lashing, and a long cedar bark rope. They loaded everything into a canoe and set off. Soon they reached the place where Cool Jod had disappeared under the water. Use the kelp to pull yourself down to the bottom of the sea, Martin told Nana Simgit. We will wait for you there. Here, we'll wait for you here. Nana Simgit took a big breath and dove in. He pulled himself down the kelp until he reached the bottom of the sea. Nana Simgit walked along the bottom of the ocean and soon found three geese stumbling into each other. What are you doing? he asked. Our eyes are stuck closed. We can't see. Nana Simgit pulled out the devil's club medicine to treat their eyes, and one by one they were healed. Can you help me find the scan? he asked. I am looking for my wife. Go see if the heron can help you, the, ha the happy geese replied. Nana Simgit continued along, and soon he came across the heron. He pulled the dry fish out of his bag and gave it to him. Heron took the fish and devoured it greedily. Heron, can you help me find the scan? I'm looking for my wife. They've taken her to the scan house. Soon they will fit her with a dorsal fin, and she will become the scan leader's wife. Go see if the woodsman can help you, Heron said. Nana Simgit traveled along until he saw a man chopping wood. As he approached, the man stopped and dropped, dropped his axe. What's wrong? Nana Simgit asked. My axe is broken, the woodsman answered. I work for the scan leader, and he will be angry. Nana Simgit pulled out the bear tallow from his bag to fix the, we the wedge of the axe and deerskin to lash it back together. He handed it back, good as new, to the grateful man. Do you know where my wife is? Nana Simgit asked. Tonight the scan will steam this wood I have chopped into a killer whale fin to fit it onto her back. But I have an idea. He led Nana Simgit to the scan house and told him to hide in 
the seaweed outside. Peeking in, Nanasim gets Sal's cool jad standing by a huge fire surrounded by the scone. Suddenly, from inside the house, the leader boomed. It is time! As the leader spoke, the woodsman picked up a container of water, carried it to the fire, and pretended to trip, spilling the water on the, to the flames. A thick steam filled the house. Nana Simgit rushed in and grabbed Cool Jad's hand, and they ran from the house together. As the steam, as the steam started to clear, the scone ran after them. Nana Simgit and Cool Jad ran back the way he came. They ran past the heron. They ran past the geese. When the scone reached the geese, the birds flapped their wings and blocked their path. When Nana Simgit and Cool Jad reached the kelp forest, he pulled out the long cedar bark rope. He tied it around his wife's waist and onto himself, and they began to climb up the kelp. They climbed up the kelp as quickly as they could, as soon as they could see Martin in the canoe waiting for them. When they reached the surface, they climbed into the boat. Go, 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 Cool Jad shouted. Nana Simgit started paddling furiously towards the, toward the village while the swallow flew ahead to tell the villagers what was happening. As they got closer to the beach, they could see everyone on shore waiting for them. Hurry, they're right behind you, the villagers shouted. Just then, a double fin killer whale surfaced between the canoe and the scon, giving the couple a chance to escape. Soon, the canoe was too far away for the scon to catch them. Nana Simgit and Cool Jod and Martin watched as the killer whales turned and dove back under the water. The double fin killer whale lingered for a moment on the surface and then dove out of sight. When the canoe reached the beach, the whole village welcomed them home. Here, the story ends.